Steve Garbarber, you're back here. You're all invited. Welcome, Kyle, and just Kyle, to the Sloopcast. How are you doing today? I don't know how to react to that. I don't know. I'm doing, right. I don't I'm know doing all right, Jared. How are you, you doing? You know, today? So most of the time when I'm doing the intro, my mind turns off. So whatever just whatever happens, happens. So now that I've welcomed just Kyle to the Sloopcast, I'm gonna go ahead and welcome everyone else to the Sloopcast. Um Kyle, this is another Wasteland episode. If you do not know our Wasteland episode, um, yes, Kabuto, even you. Although um I, I welcomed you uh before the show started. So I guess I still need to welcome you after the show starts. Is that how that works? Jared, is that an 11W shirt? Yeah, sure is. Uh, 11 Warrior t-shirt. It's their uh, undefeated out-of-conference uh, one. You think you have that too? I mean, I think any red-blooded American should have this shirt, including people who live in Georgia, and I'm not going to apologize for that. It's <laughs> <laughs> funny. Uh, so... I saw there was this picture someone shared in the we're getting into the show now. There was this picture someone shared in the uh, yes, in our Discord server. Atlanta. Specifically Atlanta. Yeah, I mean, the entire but but also Atlanta. Um, someone shared a picture. I'm actually I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and find it. It was a, someone in our Discord server he goes by the name Soup Boy. He goes by the name Soup Boy. And I, I, I don't know who made this graphic. I'm. Um, uh, ninety nine point nine percent sure it was not Soup Boy, considering uh he says I don't know how to feel about this. So you know, let's bump that up to a hundred percent. Uh, basically it was like uh each Big Ten school is a soda, and oh boy, uh is this is this graphic problematic? It was clearly done. It was clearly done by someone who's like a Michigan fan, I would assume, as he made uh Michigan Coca Cola and Michigan State Pepsi, like the two biggest brands or the two brands in the state of Michigan, like, okay, guy. Okay, guy. But anyway, we're not here to talk about his crappy, crappy thing. No, 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 no. We, we're, we are not going to be talking about whoever did that graphic and their crappy, crappy thing. We are here to do our own crappy thing. So it is a bit is inspired that? by the crappy thing. We're going to be doing our own crappy thing. All right. Why don't you tell him, Kyle? Yeah, so we... we... We had some ideas. We were thinking about uh, what do we? Don't give away I episode have? ideas. Don't give away episode ideas. We it might be a long summer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fine, fine. Uh, <laughs> no, we're, we're going to do breakfast cereals. Uh, there, there are hundreds of breakfast cereals out there. Some, some I've never heard of before, and some that some that has been around way before us, Jared. So but didn't you guys so we'll do a each. team as a soda last year? I I don't think no. so. No, we 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 did a it was earlier this year I think. We did a um like a tier list of sodas. We did a we, tier we did, list of sodas it, but that was that was that was during a Patreon episode. So mm. um most people have no idea what that is. Only our only our uh Patreon, uh, patreon.thesloopcast.com subscribers had access to that particular episode. Uh, so, uh, but uh, no, it was not a, uh, a soda as a team. It was just tier listing sodas. But yeah. we're, we're doing uh, cereals as a team. So uh, everyone down there in our live chat right now, I need you to bring, um, I need you all to pretend like your opinions on this matter are facts and take this way too seriously. Because that's what Kyle and I are going to do. And uh, the the more, am I a Patreon or a patron? You're a patron on Patreon. You're a member of the Patreon, but you as an individual are a patron. <laughs> yeah. Since, Since when, when are my opinions, opinions facts? facts. <laughs> yeah, that, that's a very that's a very nomad thing to say, nomad or Mars or whatever you're going by this week. Um, the <laughs> right, so let's. let's, let's Let's we're we're, we're doing this Big Ten teams yeah. as uh, as cereals, because right. this is the kind yeah. of shit you do in June sometimes. Welcome to the wasteland, everybody. So I have like on my spreadsheet here. Uh, Jared's not looking at it because I don't see him in my Google sheet here. But <laughs> I, I, I wrote no. down wrote down twenty five um, cereals down here, and then the fourteen Big Ten teams as well. So we're just going to go in alphabetical order. Uh, so I'll start, I'll start with Illinois, Jared. 
Oh my God. You're starting with Illinois. We are starting with Illinois. Why would you start with (laughs) Illinois? Why would anyone ever start anything with Illinois? Yeah. (laughs) Um, Uh, Well, okay. Who do you have for Illinois? Who do I have for Illinois? Um, you said you had a spreadsheet. Man, it, 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 I know, I know. I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm just. I'm just trying to think. I'm just trying to think. So Illinois, historically, not not a not a great team. They've had a few. They've had a good. What a take. Few good years. <laughs> What's that? I said, what a take. Please continue. What a take. <laughs> um. So I would say probably. I don't know, I'll, I'll go. I'll go with. Um, I'll go with Golden Grams. Golden Grams. I mean, follow me on this one. Follow me on this one. Golden Crisps. Golden Crisps. Yeah, they, 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 did, they did a cute little bear on the box. It's it's a. Uh, it's just like a cereal, right? It's a cereal most mm-hmm. people don't think about. It's, it's a cereal that people kind of remember. Um, and it's just a cereal that we kind of acknowledge exist uh, or maybe existed. Um, but no one ever really thinks too much about or invest any money into. It's just a, it's just a cereal that, that exists. And I think that's that's as much as I think I can say. Uh, that's as much as I can say about Illinois that we acknowledge that they exist. <laughs> well, we're, Honey Crisp, we're gonna... do you mean? No, I do not. I mean Golden Crisp. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, no, we're not we're not getting we're not getting much better, if any, better, Jared. Uh, Indiana. Okay, so here's the thing, Indiana, though. Indiana, though, I think at least a has made strides as of late. The plastic bag of generic whatever. I feel <laughs> you I know, like that's that. not a bad that's not a bad answer. In all honesty, um, here's here here's where I'm going with Indiana. Indiana is life cereal okay it exists again kind of like the go it like it exists um when it is good when you put it in the milk it, it doesn't last very long so like it's good in very small doses you can't make a big bowl of it it'll go bad quickly it needs to be a corn derivative listen this is the Big Ten. Everything realistically probably should be a corn derivative. We can't be playing the corn game. That applies to 100% of the schools. <laughs> Mikey hates you right so, now. I, that that That's fine. But I'm just saying like, and also I'll say this about life cereal. It's a cereal that you don't appreciate until you get old. Kind of like Indiana. Indiana's like, was never any good in my youth, but now that I'm older, isn't bad. So this is why I'm going with life cereal. I, what are I'm the rules go with, of the corn game? I, I I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with cocoa puffs. It just high puffs. high energy. It just high energy. Thinking of like the high offense that Indiana has been, and then okay. when you're done, you just have this big drop off. <laughs> Of, of your sugar high. Fair enough. Fair enough. High energy, a little performance. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> high energy, little performance. <laughs> I feel like that's Oregon, but we're not doing a Pac-12 list. All right. Uh, Iowa. What about Iowa, Jared? Okay. You remember how... I... Iowa. Jared's sex tape. Guys, come on now. Come on now. Iowa. Like, I know we said we can't just be like doing the corn thing, but uh, 
it it it, it is Iowa. Like it's Iowa, right? Like don't you be stealing my thunder. <laughs> <laughs> don't you be stealing my thunder. <laughs> it's corn pops. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. <laughs> it's corn pops. <laughs> it's corn pops. It pops up every once in a while. Uh, it's mostly made of corn. And if uh, if memory serves, and it, I'm pretty sure it does, it's 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 mostly yellow. It's mostly yeah. It's just it's just a bowl of yellow. It's made of corn. It pops up every once in a while. Guys, uh, Kabuta says corn checks. Um, Gangland says unsweetened corn flakes. No, I, I have one for unsweetened cornflakes. You 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 hold on to the unsweetened cornflakes thing. I'm reserving that one. All checks is corn. No, there's wheat corn checks. Or there's wheat checks. I said wheat corn checks. Now that you can get you can get checks in corn in uh, wheat. What team is s'mores? Uh, I, I don't know if I have s'mores for anything. Although uh that would be an interesting answer for sure. Uh I I don't think I cur I but you know I'm I'm not afraid to call an audible if I think about it. All right. Uh next one here is Maryland. And I have the perfect one for Maryland here, Jared. And that and that's Fruit Loops because of how they're the, like the most colorful um in terms of their jerseys. Colorful okay. jerseys in all of the Big 10. Okay. All right. All right. Can I can I can I go can I go left field for this one? I'm coming out of left field. You ready? All right. In 19, nine, uh, 1989, and it lasted for, for two years through 1991, it was made by the Ralcorp Corporation. It is the TMNT. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle branded breakfast cereal. Boom, boom. Really Go right Turtles. Reaching. You're really reaching there. Listen, tur turtle, the Maryland equals the Ninja Turtles is a joke I have been doing since they joined the conference, and I will keep doing it. All right. All right. And, and our, our fun. Nomad one didn't like my answer. Yeah, y'all got to give me. Listen, if you don't like the answer, you got to come up with something better. If you don't like the answer, you got to come up with something better. Right. Illabuck is the turtle, but like that by that, like we're equally the turtle, right? Because it's there, it's a buck too. All right, Jared, Michigan. Yeah. Okay, Michigan is unsweetened cornflakes. <laughs> They've been around forever. Uh, they've made a lot of money. They have a real questionable past if you look into them. Like a real questionable past if you look into them. Um, and uh, it, they're not very good. Very big, powerful, wealthy franchise with a troubling history. That's just not very good. That that's cornflakes. That's unsweetened, regular ass cornflakes. I'm getting some love for this answer. I think. I think I'm getting some. I think I'm getting. Uh, let's see. Just looking here, uh, Michigan. Oh, I'm not reading that one. Wow, I almost read that one out loud. Not reading that one. <laughs> uh, my my pick, my pick, Jared is. Uh... Yeah is is special k okay because they can't decide which ones which ones which one's the best of their cereals there so i yeah <laughs> no trouble they're yeah they're just special k so again like, like the unflavored version of something mm -hmm. could we have also gone with something like grape nut flakes simply because only old people like them I could do Michigan jokes all day. I could do who gets lucky charms. Stay tuned. So 
uh, yeah, I could I could do Michigan jokes all day. Who who we got next? Uh, Sparty. We got Sparty. Sparty. I, I, I like I like the one who who was it in here? Uh, let me let me scroll up here. <laughs> Michigan State is checks mix because of the portal, says Kabuto. All all of the different um, varieties that's in checks. Okay, so I, I like that idea, but I'm going to apply that idea to a different cereal, which is Lucky Charms. Michigan State is Lucky Charms. Uh, they're, they they keep bringing everyone in through the portal because they're magical. Like, you know what I mean? It's, it's a lot of magic. There's a lot of different mismatching colors in the bowl. Um, half of it's kind of good. Half of it's kind of bad. Um, it's... Michigan State equals Lucky Charms. Lucky Charms isn't good, though. How dare you? Lucky Charms is perfectly fine. Just, just like Michigan State, it is it is perfectly fine. Oh, why not Captain perfect. Crunch? Uh, why not Captain Crunch? I, I was actually I was actually thinking Captain Crunch for um for for Sparty. I don't know that that, that was that's one that's one thing. I don't Captain know, yeah, Crunch. I, 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 now that I yeah, think I, about I like, it, I like Captain Crunch actually. Captain Crunch actually may have been a better answer for uh, Maryland. Now that I think about it, I, I, there's a, there's a large navy presence in okay. in that area is there not uh that might have been a good that might have been a good answer for for maryland a little bit of captain yeah. crunch spartans had a shit navy yeah yeah they sure did <laughs> all right the golden gophers what about minnesota, minnesota golden gophers kyle do you have anything Wait, 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 I think it's your turn to go first. What about the chat? Does the chat have anything for the Minnesota Golden, Golden Gophers? Cool Ranch that's Doritos. Not a, Wrong episode. A, <laughs> <laughs> Wrong episode. <laughs> Seriously, who gets the generic bag of whatever? Listen, maybe stay tuned. Maybe don't, but maybe stay tuned. So for for Minnesota, for Minnesota, I feel like I feel like they're a I feel like that they're trying to be this the new hip um, uh, football team with um, um, with the row your boat and trying to trying to energize the team and all that. I I feel like Apple Jacks. I'm feeling Apple Jacks. It's. Is Apple Jacks new and trendy? Is that what the kids are into, Kyle? <laughs> <laughs> no, if you remember, like a lot of the, um, a lot of the things, um, especially in the '90s and 2000s, they always had like this, like young, like they, they, they tried their best to appeal to the youngins. Yeah. Uh, especially the cinnamon brown sugar uh, toaster treats because it's generic. <laughs> Who gets pop tarts? I mean, is there there was a pop tart cereal at some point? I think but... I'm sure there probably was. <laughs> All right, okay. Gary, who do you got from? Who do you got from? Who do you have? I have Golden Grams. They, golden they're, they're gram? golden. Okay. They're golden, right? They're golden. They don't taste bad. Um, they're 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 okay, and it, because it's golden, that's it. The golden yeah. gophers. It's they're golden. That's it. There, there's there's not a there's not a real funny answer to that one. It just kind of feels like it just feels appropriate. That's all. Well, here's the other thing about golden grams. I do think if if I can maybe salvage a joke out of this very serious, uh, but mostly serious, mostly serious answer. Golden grams. If you look at golden grams, don't look very good. 
they kind of if you just look at a golden graham in a bowl it kind of just looks like a like a like a brown little square kind of looks like a bowl of cardboard if we're being serious in the same way that minnesota kind of looks ter- not kind of minnesota looks terrible that that maroon and gold is one of the ugliest color combinations in all of sports but taste tastes pretty good minnesota looks terrible but they're not bad they're not bad they're pretty good it's mostly sugar and that's okay I care strongly about this stupid, meaningless topic. So do I, Kabuto. Golden Graham's mascot used to be gophers. They used to be delicious. They're still delicious in the way that it's just sugar. (laughs) All right, Uh, who do we have next? Speaking of corn, Jared, speaking of corn, we got corn huskers. Okay. Once again, Kyle, they're literally all corn. This is the Big Ten. (laughs) Outside of maybe but Rutgers they're, but they're literally the in Maryland, th- this is all corn. This is corn country, li- my man. But they're literally the corn huskers. They, they are literally the corn huskers. Uh, you could do Nebraska's cornflakes. I personally already did that answer, but just because I already did that answer doesn't mean you can't do that answer. Um, you can still do the answer. It's fine. Um, I'm, I'm so, going to do an odd. I'm going to do an odd one here, please, and and just and just stick with me on this. Okay. Ooh, ooh, you almost got it. You almost got it. I, I was going to go with mini wheats, uh, not frosted mini wheats. No, just mini wheats. Just mini wheats. They wish Can they I? were frosted mini wheats. They wish they were frosted mini wheats, <laughs> but they're just mini wheats. Kyle, can and can, can and you... on top of that, Jared. They yeah. were discontinued in 2015, so they no longer exist. <laughs> can can I can I take you one step further? <laughs> I want to take you one step further. Just the mini wheats are literally based off of the fact that you used to be able to buy wheat in a giant nugget, break it up, and make that into cereal. There used to be these giant squares of wheat that you could buy. It was a mini wheat, except, get this, not mini. That's Nebraska. Because you want to talk about not being relevant anymore and not existing anymore and being plain. Oh, you could just do shredded wheat. Caputo says just do the shredded wheat. You could also do that. Yep. Uh, Mm -hmm. I think that's just just as acceptable of an answer. Um... So to me, like I had a different answer, but Kyle brought up the mini wheats and I'm just like, nah, forget the mini. They, they're, they're not that accessible. <laughs> just wheats. <laughs> uh, oh, was that the big thing is they were just, they were just called shredded wheats, but oh yeah. Cause it was shredded wheats, but it wasn't like one big thing. Cool. Mm-hmm. Cool. Cool. Thanks for the uh, assist on that one. Kabuto. Northwestern. Any anything other than raisin bran is wrong is is incorrect. Just raisin bran. <laughs> I had a different answer, but you're right. <laughs> you're right because so it's. Were you gonna, what were you going to say? <laughs> no, 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 no. I refuse to lose. No. I refuse what to lose. You going to say it, it doesn't matter. You already lost, Jared. You just go out and say it. <laughs> I was going to go multi-grain Cheerios, but it's the same joke. It's just this very plain, yet very well thought out, not very fun, but very smart choice. <laughs> Sugared raisins or not? Of, of course not. <laughs> of course North not. Northwestern is cranberry crunch. I've never heard. Oh, yes, Akashi. <laughs> Oh, yes, just anything of, like Best Friends by Kashi. Or you know what? The regular Fiber One. No, the, the ones that literally look like cat food and taste like cardboard. Just the fi- the plain Fiber One. <laughs> yeah. Kabuto <laughs> with the colon blow. Kiff. We'll, we'll do Ohio State last. Um, let's do Penn State. Let's do Penn State. 
All right, th- 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 this one just makes too much sense. It's 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 Quaker Oats. How is it not Quaker Oats? It's literally Pennsylvania. It's the Quaker Oats. It has to be. It's literally where the Quakers come from. Yeah. It's 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 the Quaker Oats. Yeah. I know. I, I couldn't think of a funny one <laughs> like I did with uh, <laughs> Northwestern. Um. I don't know. I that 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 might be the answer is that Quaker Oats, <laughs> but uh, I, I, I I'll go with I'll, I'll go I'll go with um, Rice Krispies. Now hear me hear me out hear me out Rice Krispies okay. I'm, I'm, because I'm when you first I'm all I'm all ears Kyle. So when you when you first when you first pour milk onto them they're loud, but then after a while they just are silent. They're loud at first, but then. When when you're at the end, it's. I think that's just soggy and silent. Okay, I'm sorry. Did you say did you say Rice Krispie or Rice Krispie treat cereal? Because it's just the plain Rice Krispie is what. No, because no, 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 cereal. Yeah, no, 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 it's not. It's, it's not both because this is like a cornflake versus a frosted flake situation where one of them's boring but the other one's actually pretty good. Hold on. I'm looking up something real quick. Um, no, never mind. I thought I thought I knew a thing, but I don't know a thing. Okay, never mind. Um, so I, I think Rice Krispies is also a good answer for, for the reasons you described. Um, I, I think I'm going to stick with my Quaker Oats, though. Okay, no, Quaker Oats, I, Quaker Oats is a good one. That's a good one. Yeah, I liked Rice Krispies, too. And then I grew up. Uh <laughs> Like, no, they're fine. Uh, uh, listen, all of these things are basically sugar. None of them are terrible except for fiber one. <laughs> the plain <laughs> fiber one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Purdue is next. Purdue. Ah, Purdue, Purdue, Purdue. I, I don't know if I have a good answer for this one because none of these are made of like oil or iron or train smoke. Like, I feel like if I'm looking for something uh, that that nothing really brings to mind pollution. Does that make sense? Purdue is just yellow milk. That's disgusting. Cream of wheat, not a bad answer. Um, no. I don't know, Kyle, do you have anything? I, I, I. I don't know if I have a good, I don't know if I have a good one here. If I'm being super honest with you. One that from the Wheaties list. Is I, not a bad answer. I feel like, I feel like we could take a lot of our Northwestern jokes and also put them here. Um, yeah. Wheaties, not a bad answer. I don't think here's a problem with Wheaties though. It does imply that they're far more athletic than they actually are. <laughs> that would be my one issue with Wheaties as, as an answer. Um, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wheaties. That's what I'm saying. Um, I think. Hear me out. We said. Uh, Honey Nut Cheerios because they used to beat you. <laughs> I, I think maybe something like Kyle, you said. So for like your your Purdue answer, right? We always said, no, 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 not the frosted kind, not the sugared kind. I feel like Northwestern is probably. Take any of those answers that we are using jokingly. Like Purdue is probably one of the good fiber ones that actually have a bit of sugar in them. Or maybe, you know what I mean? They're they're the sugary version of the healthy cereal. Does that make sense? Uh, The mini wheats, for example, they are a frosted mini wheat. They're a more fun version of the good for you cereal. Uh, I I think is, is probably where we're at with Purdue. They're a lot more fun than Northwestern, but still mostly just an academic beacon, right? You know, that, that brown sounds... sugar mini wheat. See, that's not a bad one. Or you could also do like a brown sugar uh, Quaker oat bowl, something like that. Oh, Maybe even get a real crazy and throw some blueberries in there. Honey bunches of oats. 
Honey Bunches of Oats, I think, is also probably uh, like in there. I think I'm personally going to go with like a, a Frosted Mini Wheat. They're just the slightly more fun version of Northwestern. Okay. I have a lot of family that goes to Purdue uh, for uh, agriculture. Is that what you mean? Or is AG something else? Okay. Yes. He says yes. Uh, Rutgers, Jared. <laughs> Rutgers. Um, uh, did did Bruce Springsteen never have a cereal? <laughs> I I had I had a Lucky Charms for Rutgers okay. because once in a while once in a while they, they get lucky and, and win a game. Once huh. in a while they get lucky and beat and beat Michigan. Once in a while they <laughs> they win multiple games. I almost feel like that would have been the answer for Purdue because I feel like I feel like they're one of those teams that gets one of those upsets every once in a while, or maybe that's just because I think that because I'm an Ohio State fan. I don't know. Um, Rutgers, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I have a good answer for Rutgers. What does the chat say? You guys got anything? Rutgers is the less <laughs> leftover meat pieces from the grill. Hey guys, uh. cereals. Cereals. Plain Cheerios. Plain Cheerios. Okay. Um, guys, I feel like you've been asking me to do it this entire episode. You've been begging me to do it this entire episode. I'm finally going to do it. Rutgers is the generic bagged multi meal cereal at the bottom of the shelf. <laughs> You've been begging me to do it all episode. I was waiting for it. Have we exhausted no, there's, all there's, the good ideas yet? No, it's the five pound bag of <laughs> generic ass Cheerios or uh, maybe, maybe, maybe now generic ass Cheerios. They're the generic ass Cheerios at the bottom of the shelf. The Malto meal Cheerios. You missed a bottle of whiskey for this. Yes, you did. <laughs> but wait, you should always be drinking while listening to this show. You should always be drinking while listening right. to this show. All right. Um, one more than we do Ohio State. Uh, oh. Wisconsin. We have Wisconsin. Is there anything that is cheese based? No. Are there any cheese based cereals? And I, I feel like Frosted Flakes. It's Wisconsin. Okay. All right. I'm listening. Feel like feel like frosted flakes. I I disagree. Um okay. I I think Wisconsin is good. Um and because I kind of like Wisconsin and because there's no cheese based cereals, I do want to give them like a pretty high honor. And mm -hmm. I if I gave them frosted flakes. <laughs> yeah, but I feel like that's too high of an honor. I'm gonna give them Frankenberries. Blueberries, <laughs> uh, uh, blueberries was one of my favorites, but I wanted to give them a red cereal, so I so I switched it up and went the Frankenberries. What was, what was the one that we talked? Count I've, Chocula. I I've I mean, never. I went with the Count Chocula. I had Count the, Chocula, the, I had Count Chocula the, on here. What was what was the one that I mentioned before? I'm like, I never heard this one before. I guess it was like a. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I mean, I I stayed. Does that does that help you, Mike? Uh, I stayed in the uh, Count Chocula fam family I, just because they're Wisconsin. I wanted to like stay in the red area, so I so I, like I said, I called an audible and went Frankenberry instead. I wanted the color to match. <laughs> you think you hate cereal now? Listen, I don't know what to do for you. Booberries was fun. I just didn't. All right. You go take care of the the young one. All right. All right, Jared. Last one. Ohio State. See, to me, this is Frosted Flakes. Ohio State is Frosted I, Flakes. I, I, I'm, I'm stuck on two. I'm stuck on two here for Ohio State. Because um, it's probably arguably one of the um, most uh, favorite cereal. I'm 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 okay with it, but uh, I think I think from what I when I did a quick search that it was the best selling cereal. 
And that's uh, maybe cinnamon toast crunch. I, I, I like that answer. I like that mm-hmm. answer a lot. But it is one of my favorite my, cereals. My, my go-to cereal, though, is Honey Nut Cheerios. I think Honey Nut Cheerios is also not a bad answer because it's... So I think Honey Nut Cheerios fits into my answer because it's the good version of the thing. So kind of like I gave Michigan cornflakes. And what is Michigan, if not a inferior version of Ohio State, which is why Ohio State has Frosted Flakes? Meanwhile, cornflakes is, is over there. Thing I've learned from about Kyle. <laughs> this is the, what about about Cheerios? <laughs> Honey Nut Cheerios are good. I, I don't, I'm not going to I'm not going to hear any blasphemy. I'm not going to hear anything negative about Honey Nut Cheerios in this chat. You gave Michigan a good cereal. Are 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 unsweetened cornflakes a good cereal? Uh, well, you you and I. So who's the sympathizer now, Mike? Who's the sympathizer now? You said yes. I don't think it is. So now you're the sympathizer. Jared turned into a seal. Huh? R R R. Uh, hey, what, you know. was, what was what was so what was your pick for Ohio State? I'll, I'll go with Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I went with 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 uh, Frosted Flakes again. It's the Michigan's Corn Flakes, the the clearly inferior version of the Frosted Flake, which is Ohio okay. State. All right, all right. That's all of them. That's all of them. Some some other names that we didn't. Mention on here, um, Captain Crunch. I think I feel like we probably should have given Captain Crunch to Maryland. I think that was maybe an oversight. Uh, honeycombs, honeycombs is one we didn't mention. I, I got uh, nothing. Reese's, honeycombs. Reese's Puffs. <sighs> Reese's it, Puffs. No. Or I feel or like we even probably assign, could have even assign a Wheaties to anybody too. I know we mentioned Wheaties, but I don't think we assigned Wheaties to anybody. Wheaties would have been a good answer for Ohio State, I think. Because it's, yeah. it's, it's the school that produces I, the most I just, athletes. I just never was a big Wheaties fan, so I couldn't Yeah, me that. either. <laughs> that's, that's part of the problems. Yeah, and now we're getting some Wheaties. Wheaties is basically Alabama. No fun. Produces a lot of athletes. Like, yeah, that, that's a... Like, well, we're not, we're, we're, we're not going to branch out too far here uh, outside <laughs> of the Big Ten. But yeah, Wheaties is, Wheaties is Alabama. Pretty much. Uh, that's that. That's that's just true. Uh, there's nothing. There's nothing to say about that. I mean, uh, I know you mentioned Oregon before, Jared, but I think uh, I think Fruity Pebbles would be <laughs> would be Oregon. Yeah, all sugar, no substance. Um, all colors. <laughs> all the colors. <laughs> yeah, I think that's probably pretty good. Uh, we'll have to Reese's Puffs, by the way, would probably be Georgia. Just because like peanut butter in Georgia is a, a, a thing. So uh, we mm-hmm. should probably do that. Hawaii. Hawaii. See, Hawaii, we're back on the Lucky Charms area, but I already gave Lucky Char- all Hawaii's fruit, fruit, fruit Loops, of course. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, another, no, no. Another one, that, another one that's on a um, on a lot of lists here is Kicks. I, I personally have never had kicks before. I it it's that, that, that's, a, that's another that's another name that I said or kicks are kind I, of a, a, a crappy version of uh, tricks. Yeah. It's just sweet corn balls, isn't most cereal? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, tricks right, over kicks. Yeah. All right, Jared. That's that's uh that's our list here. That's our list. Uh, thought that was fun. I I did enjoy us going down memory lane of of some cereals when I was when I was a kid. And <laughs> so, uh, Kyle, I think the real question at the end of this episode is, when the hell is football coming back? Uh, I think I think somebody in one of our questions says, when when can we get out of the uh, wasteland? Oh. Yeah, you, patience, patience. Yeah, that's that's all I got to say about that. Is uh, 
Football doesn't actually exist. Oh, good Lord. I hope not. All right, Kyle, uh, let, let's let's end this madness. Do you have anything in Kyle's corner, buddy? Uh, well, something funny, something funny. I, I think uh, some of us in the uh, in our chat down here already know this, <laughs> but uh, oh, let me let me pull it up. Uh, Lloyd Carr's grandson, a five-star, yes. uh, CJ Carr, five-star quarterback, um, really looking like he's going to go to Michigan. And earlier this week, he he chose Notre Dame. He chose Notre Dame, a arch rival of, um, well, maybe not arch rival, but a, a, a rival of a rival of Michigan whose coach is a Ohio, is a former Ohio state player. So it's a double whammy for, for Michigan here. Oh, and there's a, there's a picture here as well. You can see uh, Lloyd Carr and his grandson, uh, CJ Carr, both wearing Notre Dame gear. <laughs> Funny stuff. Yeah, it's uh that stings. I'm not enjoying seeing like uh James Laurinaitis wearing Notre Dame stuff right now either. So it's uh yeah. that, that that stings. Yeah. Notre Dame's gonna be, I think, pretty good in a couple years. I, I think that they're doing really good stuff up there, like legitimately. I think they're doing really well for themselves. Um I think they're a couple years out. I think they'll be real pissed when they realize, like, oh man, I wish we could have played Ohio State, not in 2022 and 2023 but rather like in 2024 and 2025 they're gonna be like ah oh, damn if we could have just because i think they'll be hitting i think they'll be hitting a really good stride by then yeah all right that's it jerry that's all i got yeah same um so yeah that's it for today's episode um last week um nomad asked us about oh hey you haven't played uh pray for sleep in a while cool all right we'll we'll do that so uh this week tonight we'll do it again on wednesday uh a columbus-based band called pray for sleep uh they will be ending today today's episode so with uh all that being said i'd like to encourage everyone to drink local beer listen to local music and of course support your local podcasters once again this is pray for sleep